A very thank you for staying with us. You're watching this morning on ITV, Sunday morning edition. Now, quickly on the entertainment segment, we have uh, a unique comedian uh, who has been able to carve a niche for himself in the entertainment world. Now, if you hear this word, I say, Mick, I tell you, uh, I know you, you want to think who this person is. Well, he goes by the name Osagbovo Endurance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please join me and welcome Comedian Bovo. <laughs> My leader, I must <laughs> greet you. <laughs> so you come. <laughs> Baba, what to do now? This is not easy for you. They may pass the combo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like on the most serious note, back, backstage, uh, what we were talking, I was like, is this Comedian Bovo or you actually sent someone to come and represent you or something? <laughs> <laughs> this is me in real life, man. Really? I'm always calm, I'm always calm. But when I'm on my alcohol table, you know, <laughs> uh, my vibration uh, it will be more than extraordinary. This. <laughs> so, so uh, okay, now l l let's start talking, Bovo. Uh, for some people, lack of unemployment took them into comedy. But for you, what actually motivated you into this business? It's not lack of uh, employment, or like, like, because if I want to work in any establishment today, as mm. I speak, I have so many connect by his grace. Uh, I have some qualification which I can submit. I just think that will give me some kind of job. But I've been a comedian right from, in fact, right from my mom, Bele. Hey, because I don't worry him for it. No, be you do be that. Uh, this man. She the color woto woto from Mr. Bele. <laughs> from Mr. Bele. Yes, are, are you for real? Yes, because from my primary school days, okay. I've been doing this thing that they call word. When they from were the primary yab. school days. Yes, mm. they were the yab. See your head. It may, uh, 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 it make man go no. Uh, uh, just uh, tell me, me say my head. Like just, <laughs> just tell me. So you want first tell me say my head before. <laughs> no, you are the head, <laughs> not the tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so from that primary school days, mm. I'll be very funny. Okay. Uh, way back, nobody they really feel challenge me. We say more come work. When it comes to banter, we call yes. it banter now. They don't feel really challenge me, so I'll be funny from the one. So when I got to secondary school, when I entered my secondary school so most of the programs that we normally do in secondary school mm. they always bring me up he said that i call the program or just to come and spice it up then when i discovered that i actually want to become a full-time comedian full-time so, yes so, so we, we have part-time comedians yeah we have part-time comedians those are those are the people who do extra work so okay. they just use comedy to support it. So like me, I'm yes. full time. Full time, Baba. Now comedy I do. Full time. Now nah, remove my glass. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. my blood on the altar. Calm down. I do with you, my man. <laughs> so food, you are you are into it full time. Morning, afternoon, I don't sleep. Like yesterday night now. I be in fact now this morning I won't sleep now. Mm. That kind for that was why when you were calling me this morning, man, I did bed though. Oh really? Yeah. So mm. I didn't sleep all time. I walk all through. But by success, not just carry the comb. You go work on You have to work for it. Yes, you go work. It's when you work, eh? eh? That's when grace comes in. Hmm. Grace, no, just come meet you for bed. Grace, go come on for dog. Bum, bum, bum. Who be that? Now, me, Grace. Hmm. Who are you looking for? Now, you, I want to come meet you. No, you go work. So, you work for grace. You work for grace. Grace don't come to you. Grace don't come to you. Hmm. All right, talking about grace now. What has been your greatest uh, motivation? What has been your greatest inspiration? Man, my greatest inspiration and my mom, man. Because that woman, she passed through a whole lot and all those things. So every time I see her going to farm, waking me up, the time I'm supposed to be sleeping, I'll be like, man, how, how long can this continue, man? Hmm. We have to break this yoke of poverty. Hmm. And the only way me, because I'm more or less like a pastor, like, although I don't preach through Bible, but... Hmm. So you preach through your skits? Yeah, I preach through my comedy, hmm. through my career, because God personally told me, this is what I want you to be called. You were called. I was called to become into a comedian. That's hmm. why when it comes to comedy, I don't need to stress my brain to make you laugh. So when I, anything I talk, you go laugh. You don't laugh at what you do. I, I laugh. go laugh now. See me, I did laugh. Yeah, I did so laugh. Before I did laugh. I laugh. <laughs> I must laugh. Okay, so now, how do you now balance comedy? You are a married man. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me, not take, let me not take you back now, how your wife slided into your DM, you know, sent you a message. You know, like I told you back then, I, I've been watching you. I got my eyes on you, you know. She sent you a message, and all of a sudden, bam, we vote on my Well, she's not here. Very soon, we'll soon have you and her again. But how do you now balance the home front and your career? 
you know, a good number of um, entertainers, they used to have this issue. They don't know how to balance it. But how have you been balancing yours? Uh, first of all, I will always advise every entertainer out there, whether you are a dancer, a musical artist, or a comedian, or a footballer, anything you are doing, try to marry a woman that is supporting, a woman that knows so much about entertainment. Mm. Because if you marry someone that knows so much about entertainment, even when you say you not come back for two days, she not go complain. She go understand. She go understand. Mm. But when you marry someone that don't really know much about entertainment, she go to complete her, yeah. And it's like we choose this comedy. Since you want to become a comedian, okay, choose comedy. I don't, I cannot take this anymore. She just That's what you were when she met you. Because she, my wife knows, say, now this thing they do when you take meet me. Mm. And at this thing, they put food for table. And both herself, she now musical artist. Oh, really? Yes, she sing. She's into music? Yes. Full-time music now? Full-time music. Okay. She did music, you know, to say when I come put some kind of things for the belly, maybe some things for balance, I say, man, eh? no, it's not something maybe man, they respect man. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I just had to like, okay, just pay down for a while, why we just they use comedy to they push the ministry. Okay. So she has been supportive and uh, so with that, the family is moving to the next level. So now talking about support, um, talking about support now, we really want her to continue you know some people they'll be like no since i'm into entertainment she shouldn't join me let her just face the family uh, will you really want her to just um, pipe low and face the house uh, and like me i would not like her to end up in the kitchen she have a career to pursue okay she have a career so so i always encourage her most of the time sometimes i will be sleeping she will be like well i want to do TikTok now come on because i'm the one that normally set everything for her oh really so i always make sure that everything come up perfectly well before she posts she will like send it to me uh, uh look at it. Is this one oh, is this one okay i say yes or oh, yeah now fire down uh, her page is doing well right now on instagram her page is doing well right now on facebook and all those things sure. so i'm supporting her career she have a career to pursue mm -hmm. because whether i like it or not one of us must first go for the word. Mm. So if one come out, one got to stay to make sure everything they to are sustain right. the brand. Yeah. I'm not always encouraging any man for the first thing you marry your wife, you can't they put time for her, say you cage her, you know they know. Like me, let me shock you. Shock each me, money me, I make, me. each money I make, yeah. any money that comes to my account, my wife have her own percentage. Really? Although I'm the one that found everything at home, I did transfer the give her like, oh yeah, hold this one for no reason. You send money for, for no, no reason. Mm. Yeah, she, because woman, when woman see a car like this, you see money, they smile. For no reason. For no reason. I don't learn one for no reason. <laughs> My future wife, I know you are listening. You'll be collecting money for no reason. <laughs> so for no reason amounts <laughs> that will not sustain the law. Yeah. But okay, now, uh, talking about your brand, Broom, is something people have really come to know you with. Uh, I know you had other... Um, other brands you've been sustaining but for a while now we've known you with this broom what is the brain behind broom Bovo? man on a very good day a spirit minister told me like another Bovo. spirit yes i will call you you know you know say when you are more spiritual in mm -hmm. this game this game just pass on another comedy you got to be more spiritual you got mm -hmm. to be more closer to god mm -hmm. uh -huh. not be just to come outside boo, 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 boo. If to you, you might look as if you are funny, but what this, if you talk, they're not going to laugh. You need to see the face of God mm. in anything you are doing. God you need, first. You need the face of God. Yes, God mm. first. Now, on the, normally, I was using bag before. Do say my slogan then was like, let me come and be going. Yeah. And I think they end my skit. I was yeah. using bag. So later, I just had a voice like, man, pick up a broom and use it to do one thing. Then I did the skit before. I recorded the skit. So after I recorded the skit, ah, a voice said, pick a broom and use it to do something. Then I deleted the skit again. I have to pick up a broom. Then I used it. Just that first skit, it went viral. If uh, there was one footballer, one female footballer that ever posted it, I've forgotten her name now. So, so it got that, a repost. So, yeah, as in, it got a repost. So the comment from people was like, man, this boy, they, this boy, they cycle. This mm. boy, no more. So I ah, see this thing. So, from the camera, I said, go bless the broom want to enter your eye. Yes, because all these until they hit turn, they hit turn. People, they would say, your phone, no, they break. I mean, your camera, no, they break. What do you they use now? You hit the record. Mm. So from there, I just keep doing it. But when I started doing it officially, people were like, some must complain. 
say which kind of brew this guy they use now, which kind of local this thing be this. And my people say, Oh, we are a bazen. Hmm. We are a bazen. Well, for those of you that might not understand that parable, I would tell, I would tell explain them now. Now, bro, they take the beach witch. <laughs> then they explain them again. This <laughs> man. <laughs> so, so, when I carry on, all the man. witches begin to collect who to, who to uh, for their eye. Uh, they begin to, they don't say, oh, this guy. They <laughs> this come guy. to Moha for your matter. Uh, now, so they answer up, say, oh, my brother, we don't release your destiny. They go, they take go. <laughs> take on. Uh, as they give my destiny, I say, correct. Now, now they hold, I don't hold on like this. <laughs> now, I hold on, put up for happy. I say, Male, I have a destiny, don't show. <laughs> so I, I think I need to get broke now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay now, uh, so that, that has been it, okay? Okay, so now, let's now take you back, Bobo. Uh, you know, the rate at which we see prank videos on air, the rate at which we see different pranks, mostly from your colleagues, I, I, I want to I want to know your thoughts. Recently, there's this video that was shared by one. Um, is it Nyobong now? Yes. And Nyobong, she uploaded a prank video that she made. So I want to know, what is your take on that? All these people when they prank people swear. Very soon, some of them will call it plank. <laughs> because they are prank. Eh? Hey. In the case people, of people, people have blood people, pressure. I, I think there's <laughs> wisdom. There's wisdom in what you just said. Now. <laughs> Repeat it again. <laughs> people when they prank people. Yeah. People when they prank people. Prank Very soon they will call them plank. plank. Anyway. So because there are some plank, eh? there are some prank. There are some prank. Eh? My brother. <laughs> oh, did they not phone you? If they get some people high blood pressure, BP. So before later they call the tell they say, eh, eh, this thing, this thing, I beg go, oh, now just no man plank or oh, now we do, oh, now prank we do, now prank we do. So we gotta be very careful. You when they do prank out there, you gotta be very careful, please. Mm. Be very, very careful. Not be everybody. You go the prank person will never chop. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it don't person don't fence for your present before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, so you you are basically against that. And they're not fully against prank, but they should be very careful the kind of prank they do. Okay, now yeah, I, I'm going to give you an opportunity to make our viewers laugh. Today is Sunday, okay. and I'm sure the reason why you came with that broom, you want you have plans of pranking somebody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to ask you this: Do you have plans to retire from this business? Retire, okay. Me and Una, we buy here for this game. <laughs> Retire, okay. But I will invest in some business. You understand? So I will be collecting money everywhere. I'll be like Igbo man. Just to collect money from here, collect. I'm doing some kind of business now, which I don't want to eat. Uh -huh. Very soon on the scene. I'll not be my name, Seth. I'll not be my name, I'll not be my name, Geta. I will be advertising. They're not going to know Seth. Uh, the most important thing is the cash out mm. family they all right and people around me are the blessed people like me i give a whole lot but i know they like post because if you give one error for this country you post mm. <laughs> your inbox <laughs> mm. everywhere go full so me i know they retire i'll make money from entertainment invest it in business That's okay it uh, so talking about investments and um, retirement uh, do you think Nigeria is okay for now for you to remain because most of your guys they lay plan to Jakba. You know go Jakba too. Baba, Nigeria is the best place to live. Mm. If you are hearing me, open your mouth yes. at the top put. Nigeria is the best place to live as an entertainer. Except you want to go abroad, go to war for mortuary. You want to go to self fuel. You want to go to house help. Like mm. me now. So many people went there abroad, they never get level reach me. Mm. They don't get money reach me. They don't get a uh, connection reach me. They don't get famous reach me. So what to make me but I'll go abroad though, no man for sure. You're like Even they do whiskey, mm. everybody they go. They All my back. police don't go. Some mm. of them go, come back. Mostly go will come mm. back. Now when you don't believe in yourself, you they mm. run the one jack bar. Before I used to say, man, I want to go this abroad, though people they make come for there. One, but now I don't get the rap set to go. If I say I want to go tomorrow, now I'm just to apply for visa. One hand, I know say they will give me. Mm -hmm. But now if I don't see how they get and clear for Nigeria. So what I need to do now is to work on my tour to UK, Europe tour, and all those things. So I'll go, I'll come back. Okay, okay many people believe that uh, most of your colleagues. Um, they don't only depend on this comedy stuff. Uh, they also press button. You know what I mean by press button? Now? Yes. Uh -huh. Press button to add to the comedy. Uh, how true is that? Uh, before, eh, 
I used to think that some of them press button. Some comedians press button. Bro, I must tell you the truth. It is rare as it is hard for you to see a comedian who really press button. Because content creators don't even have time mm. to stay on their system. Not be that they edit their job self. Some of them. They don't. Papa, you know what it takes to create a content? You'll be like who they strike. You have to go to extra mile. If you know how much people collect on Facebook, how much they collect on YouTube, you'll not say press it, but they learn. Hmm. Most people you see press it, but you'll say, ah, these people are big boys, Baba, comedians. My word, who shut and down, not be comedians. Baba, if comedians come and say today, spray yeah. you. So just like we have. If you are doing something now, hmm. I choose to lack. Like, let me come and support praise. I call my colleagues like Alpha. You will uh, come. Baba, Before you will come. You know my brother now. Uh, you I come. must surely come. Mm -hmm. I say, Baba Alpha, I will come. Baba, if we come, we will shut and down. Mm. As he say, now button with the press. Based on say, Facebook has done us well. So you, you got have paid. done so much for me. Eh. I cannot tell it all. This is Thanksgiving now. You're just doing that. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> now Facebook with the lawyer to hmm. Facebook has done us well, YouTube has done us well. So you get paid. You get Baba as I talk now like this, we they get small small thing. And we are grateful to anything we are saying. Anything we they see, we are grateful to it. Okay. So tomorrow now when I they drive JK, everything I've acquired. I'm I the talk count two four seven when it I made they want to investigate, they go investigate. Now come in that I started making money in 2017. That was when I started building my house. That took me three years for my mom. Mm, yes, I saw, I saw that video. Yes, it took me three years. But you also years. got a car. Yes, mm. it took me three years. But the next house when they come, I was shocked. And I'm my own, they come. My own personal one. You see me you tell them? Yes, now nah, I see me, I clear their dad. <laughs> but they don't say, that's my boy. When mm. they push me by road years ago. That year. Say, God, don't run now. Mm. You understand? This time I remember my past. I they give glory to God. I they celebrate every little one. The first time I enter a play, I celebrate them. I let them know this is not the first time when I they enter a play. I know they are done. No, free center, I go Lagos. I carry my family, go enter a play, go come. Mm. Just to go Le Lagos here. Yeah. Lagos here, yeah, I carry them. Mm. My wife and my Peking will go Lagos, we come back. I come back, I celebrate them. I drink. Mm. I eat. I say, God, now you do this one for me. Me carry family, enter a play. Because not be sure. Who be me? Me when they enter along. <laughs> to even get money to enter for parks if not day. Bro, bro, bro. Then you call tell me, say, me, I don't celebrate my win. Hmm. If I call you celebrate my win, you call it, say, they got to the carry shoulder. Now you know that my win and they celebrate, oh. Hmm. When Ogani only buy me on a day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now, like, as a comedian, do you think once in a while you go to do charity work? Like, Somebody can just invite you without being paid. You do that can work. Uh, before I will say, may I go place where they not go pay me first. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to pay the DJ when go there. The DJ need to come free. The event decorator need to decorate it free. Uh, the person will give you the hall to do the program need to give you free. Mm -hmm. Everything have to be free because you know if you pay the rest, you can say now me you want to do free. No, because really. I don't wear clothes, come on for us now. My wife does the express, I don't want to go make money, come back. At the end of the day, now free job I go do. But would they support people when they do something, both financially and uh, otherwise, and oh. all those things? Okay, so, now, lastly, before we allow you just thrill us a little, before we wrap it up on the show this morning, you are consistent in taking off your clothes. Like, most times when I watch your videos, when I watch your skit, you basically don't wear anything, like... How comes? What is the brain behind that pulling of clothes? If you say me, I still pull off for you, I remove one. Calm down. Uh -huh. Calm down. <laughs> calm, calm down. Six packs. <laughs> Since I don't get six cars, now I get six packs. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon, the six cars will go, go complete. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's just my logo. That's just right from time. But see, Anna, when they're small, I don't even they wear shit. Mm. So, me, I know they the like wear shit if I did ask. So, once I just wear my knicker or that my uh, black jogger, some more, me don't, they do my comedy. So, so I just feel okay with that. Mm. So, my vibration, you'll be seeing for my body. You'll be show for your body. You'll be show all the, all the energy. You'll know, say this one day, you'll do something. Because this country, eh, 
Um, uh, you gotta take the bull by the horn. No, we, 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 we talked something backstage. You know, like I said, I'm gonna give you a few times so that we can wrap up on the show. We talked about something backstage. You say comedy has been a unifying force. How true is that? Yes, comedy is is extraordinary thing now. So comedy has come to stay. It has. It will never die again. It has come to stay and it will remain. Comedy has catapulted us to the next level, and uh, the unity in comedy is very large. You see, Edo uh, people, God bless Edo uh, comedians are there. Oba talk by he said, he said, Edo comedians are taking over. I'm so happy. We are not only good in making skits, we are doing well financially. Mm. Way back, we do struggle to eat, we struggle for shows, but thank for social media who has taken us to another level. Majority of us has gone to UK to do shows, the likes of Edo Peking, Casino, Madiba, Madiba Home yeah, of yeah, Laughter, yeah. MC Alam. Oh, we too many, we don't to go. So very soon, I will go. You will go. Uh -huh. mm. With the help of my people, I will see how I will go. <laughs> so, uh, all right now, so you, you have the stage now, um, Provo. Uh, see me, I made them laugh. You, uh, you, now skit too. You go do skit before you. <laughs> now I laugh. All this will be like, I won't laugh. <laughs> hey, you won't laugh. No, tell me you won't laugh. I mean, I'm too good for you. Eh? I beg you, go sit down. You know, be like, I won't laugh. <laughs> ah, they always they tell people, say, if you want to marry, marry woman of your choice. If you like them big, you like them like a robot. <laughs> you like them run like roundabout. <laughs> you like them looking like Ogbe Stadium. Go for the people that run. You don't see a person when I marry. If you see my wife, she be like Okupati like come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <This man. laughs> she be like, how will I describe it? She be like ex. <laughs> Everywhere they woto, woto, woto. If you like them slim, go for slim one. Not be say you can't go for a person when slim, you call the pressure her. Chop anything, chop people just to fat you, the mad pressure on her. Or you can't go mad or fat, you call the mad pressure on her. You need to watch your way to, you need to drink this, you need to drink that. Waiting. Don't go make her go drink, or the name of say, make she drink to wash her way. Don't go make her drink, waiting, go make her lose her life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> follow who you want to follow, because this life, eh, you know, balance. Okay, follow who you want to follow. Yes, so. So, my future wife, I know, though you are yet to be found, I, I will try and I, I will follow your I will follow after you. I'll follow your footsteps. Uh, I thank you very much, Bovo, for coming by. We well, sincerely well, appreciate. Hope anytime we call on you again, you will come by. We are always together. Anytime, any day. Thank you very, thank very much. All right, uh, that was the section with um, comedian Bovo on this morning on ITV Sunday morning edition. We will quickly take a short break now, and TMI continues. Don't go nowhere.